Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, Alex. This is my best German. Anyway, Saturday the 23rd of March 2019, 06, 43 hours. Just a short one today. Costa, haircut, Malcolm uphill, come back, pop some chips, dig the garden. I can hardly wait. Anyway, that's it. It's dry. It's not particularly warm, but it's dry. And there's not a lot of wind. We have daps that way. And we have Costa Coffee down that way. So the Malcolm uphill also has the beer festival sign. Um, however, it doesn't start until Wednesday. I thought it started on Sunday. Let's hope they got some on. Didn't really do with a fine ale or 17. We shall start off with the carpet for Mr. Manning. The carpet. And then moving on. Exeter Old Bitter. I need to go to Exeter from the X Valley Brewery and it's 4.8% alcohol by volume. It says smooth, strong, bitter, malty and hoppy. Mm. We shall see. Mm. It is strong. It is malty. Quite full. Nicely balanced bitterness. Bit of fruity finish. I'm going to say B plus because I just have. So ignore the Guinness marking on here. This is because, well, on me we, m e w e dot com, and the craft ale enthusiast forum. There's a debate going on about pints in America, where although America has pints, it's not a legal requirement when you ask for a pint at the bar to actually get a pint, and it could be 16 or 20 or whatever. Whereas the British pint is 20 fluid ounces. Having a discussion with the, um, I can't think of her name, but she used to be in the Ernest Willows and she's now she she's great. Um, this is 20 fluid ounces, one pint. Uh, it's the European certification CE. Uh, <laughs> used to be crowns, who knows what it'll be in the future. There's some politics for you. Uh, anyway, oh, and the camera's just gone off, uh, the phone's just gone off. Hang on, face ID. This is Railhead, R A L E, head. Point out amber bitter, 3.9% alcohol by volume. Ooh, nice fruity aroma. Ooh, ooh, this is. That is hoppy, decidedly hoppy, decidedly fruity. Into citrus. I think for cascade, oh, what a nice bit of finish. I'm going to give that a B. That really is good. I'm very impressed. Let's hope it's a unique, let's hope it's part of the festival. If you get problems with your login details for your Chromebook, saying you're out of date and you can't sync, remove your VPN and then put it back in. I'm having a week here. And it's very good. 